Hey everyone, it's me, Doom Link, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, HD version of course, it is me, Doom Link, and it is part 35 for my Let's Play. It is also the 28th of August 2017, as I'm recording this. So in this video, I think we're actually going to start the next dungeon, and uh, there's no real reason why I want to do this other than the fact that I think it's about time. It's this way that I need to go, isn't it? No, I'm fucking... I'm reverting back to the GameCube version where you need to press up on the D-pad to see the map. <laughs> anyway, uh, yes, this is the right way to go. And I actually had a Triforce chart open there. Well, not open, but I did have a Triforce chart in my map here, as you can see. Uh, the, it's like the uh, graphic for the chart has been stretched. It's kind of weird. Did you see that? If you didn't, then go back and pause it and give it a good look. But anyway, um, I think we do need to get some heart pieces soon. I think after this dungeon I will go and get some heart pieces for sure because I do have a decent number of hearts but I think that I want more than this quite frankly so yeah. I think the magic bar is a good telltale for how many hearts you can actually have. Oh, getting a little bit gassy there, sorry about that. But um, yeah, I suppose I should be looking for more bottles. Yeah, I knew there would be one over there. And there's another one there. Or that might be the one that I was looking at before. The seagulls are frozen in time. Okay. Medley, listen carefully to what I'm about to tell you. He basically tells Medley to obey my commands, because I will be using the um, Wind Waker to command him, and sh she also needs to let me pick her up when I go up to her and press A. Basically, our interaction with Medley is key to completing this dungeon, so... Yeah, this is probably the first dungeon that we actually do where we... Oh, don't go inside. No! Stop it. I need to get the bottles, man. I need bottles, bottles, bottles. So what we're going to do is hopefully get the bottle over here that has actually disappeared because the King of Red Lions is an asshole. Alright, are you going to let me actually sail you? Yes, you are. Very good, very good, King of Red Lions. Oh, bottles galore. Check this out. So there's one there as well, and there's also one out here. So we're going to go and get that. And, oh, I thought there was another one over there, but it was just the fish jumping. Okay, so we've got another four bottles here. Beautiful. So we're going to head back to land, and then we will read them. So I'll get off the boat. Probably could have gone a little bit closer to shore, but the... Uh, Sailing does get very slow when you're near to islands in the HD version for some reason. I don't know why, but anyway. Well, I can imagine why, but it's not really necessary. But anyway, uh, here we go. Poop! I really like that, so I'm going to give it a yeah. Thanks, Milan. Or Milan. Uh, the Triforce? Okay, well, Milan obviously really likes these uh, messages that he's doing. He likes the message system. At least he tried. Anyway, uh, what are you doing on my boat? That is a spoiler, thanks. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I'm not going to cut it out because who cares, honestly. You guys probably know how the game goes anyway. Uh, won't even acknowledge me. Oh, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah, good joke. All right, so uh, that is all for the bottles. Let us now, oh, jeez, sorry. Let us continue into the dungeon. So we're going to need to play the song once again. We will pull out the Wind Waker, and we will play the song. Alright. So the Earth God's lyric doesn't really serve any purpose in this game, apart from in this dungeon, to initiate this cutscene that you're seeing right here. We do it, I think, twice. So to enter the dungeon, we need to break this rock by playing this song. And then I think halfway through the dungeon we need to do it again. And that is the purpose behind this song. It doesn't do anything else in this game. So yeah. We now walk into the dungeon, and it is called the Earth Temple. I'm pretty sure the other one's called the Wind Temple. I'm just thinking maybe it has a different name, but it probably is the Wind Temple, to be fair. I would have liked to have started this a little bit faster than I did, just to kind of get most of the dungeon in this video, but uh, I don't think it's going to be happening. So what I'm going to do is pick you up. Some people might think that you need the Deku Leaf here, but in fact, this is part of what it's like to use Medley in this dungeon. So we're going to pick her up, carry her in here, and yeah, so of course, I mean, this is this goes without saying, but this is the first time that I have ever 
uh, gone through the HD version in this dungeon, so... Or gone... <laughs> I should have said that in the opposite order. It's the first time I have gone through this dungeon in the HD version, but uh, anyway. If you saw, that was some pretty fast attacking that I was doing there. I mean, that was surprising. I didn't really know that this sword could attack so fast. Look at that. So that's the best way to actually fight these guys. You do the thrust. Does a lot of damage. I mean, the sword attack in general does a lot of damage, but the faster you can attack, the more damage you're going to be dealing, obviously. So I should be aiming for the fastest attack, and it seems like it's the thrust. It's pretty fast. Anyway, we're going to continue in this direction here. We're just going to kill all of the enemies. Uh, I left Medley in one place because... I don't want her to get hit by these guys, so that's the plan, just to kind of keep her safe. Don't you punch me. The idea is to hit them before they can hit you, <laughs> if it is that kind of scenario. But anyway, uh, we are going to need Medley for this puzzle here. To get those bars open, we're going to need to bring Medley over here, so we're going to call her. Well, we can actually call her, I'll show you that. If we press ZR, say come on, she will indeed follow us. Otherwise, if we pick her up and drop her, she will stay in one place. And we'll need to call her to bring her to us. Come on. God, your AI is shit. Uh, she's kind of, yeah, she's telling you to... She's kind of giving you a hint, I suppose. Don't do that. Fuck. Just come over here and... Uh... Okay, so what we're going to need to do here, I just need to remember how to do this. It's not exactly the most... Uh involved puzzle in the world, but it is something that I need to more or less remember how to do. So that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to remember how to do it. <laughs> so if we press the A button to fly, we will do this, and uh, you kind of need to spam the A button to keep flying there. And I like how it says let go, I mean let go is an interesting thing to say. Actually that's right, what we need to do is go over here. It might have been easier, actually, if we used Medley to fly over here in the first place. So I'm going to go back. Now I'm going to use the Deku Leaf. Hopefully I can... You're feeling a bit more confident now. Okay, well, great. Just pick me up and jump, okay? Well, no. Maybe the Deku Leaf isn't going to get me over there. Okay, I'll have to do that again. I just thought that she'd lose some distance, that's all. Maybe she... Well, lose some height, I should say, not distance. The opposite. No, it's not really the opposite of height, but... It is a different thing to that of distance, so... Alright, so let's just land here, and, uh... We will go back. Come on, press ZR, thank you. Alright, so I'm going to pick her up, and we're going to fly. I think that's going to get us there. Yes, alrighty. So, what we're going to do now is do what we did just before, except we're going to be standing on the other one. I was thinking that maybe the Deku Leaf could get us there, but no. I looked at it and realized that it's not going to work, because the Deku Leaf does kind of cause us to lose some height over time, and we didn't really have any room to lose height there, I could see. So yeah, we're going to go step on this, and that is going to open that. And we don't need to stay standing on them, of course, because we do need to get through the door, so yeah, once we do that once, it should be fine. We didn't lose any damage there. I think we can call her down, if not, then... Okay, we'll have to control her down, my god. See, imagine if we had to actually do the second playing, if you know how that works. If we had to do the second playing, now that would have really sucked. To have to constantly replay the song, but uh, it's actually alright. I'll pick you up because we need to get through the door anyway. I will mention that if you do want to bring Medley out of the room with you, you do need to actually physically pick her up. Otherwise, she's not going to be able to follow you in. So, like, if you just use the call function, it's not going to be good enough, so... Ah, right. Just die. Thank you. Alrighty, and I'll hit you there. So these black ones here... Well, they're not really black, but I'm sure people would refer to them as black. It's kind of... It's, we refer to things that aren't necessarily black as black, I think you'll find. Like blackberries? Wait, no, not blackberries. Blueberries are black, but... No, blueberries are purple. There you go. I was getting confused. <laughs> so, yeah, blueberries are purple. And uh, I'm sure other things that are black are actually not black, but you know what I mean. I'm, I want to show you what happens when you try to attack them. As you can see, they are not at all concerned by the fact that you are hitting them. So we need to kind of guide them into this light here. Because they are very light sensitive, and I'll show you what happens when they do get caught in the light. 
they turn to stone. And what we do is, we throw them, and they get destroyed. It's very nice. So they won't remain frozen forever, but if you keep them in the light, when they do come back alive, obviously, from being frozen, they will, in fact, just get frozen again immediately, so, yeah. Now we can leave the area, but we're not done yet. I think that the... Well, what we're going to do here... And it's not entirely necessary that we do this, actually. It depends how you want to do this. You can either control her to do this, or you can just position her appropriately to do this. Okay, maybe not for those ones. Okay, you know what? It's going to be easier if we just control her. So, her harp has a reflective ability. And the item that we're going to get in this dungeon will have a similar reflective ability. But we're going to go and destroy that just for the sake of it. I don't know if it gives us anything. Oh no, it gives us a magic pot. Better than nothing, I guess. Alright, so we're going to go and... Hold on. I'm trying to... There we go. Did we get anything decent there? Might as well pick up the pot. Oh, that's right. We can't actually pick them up as medley. That's right. So, uh, okay. Now what we're going to do is we will make this chest appear. So if you ever see a chest like that, or some kind of item like that in the world, and there is one that actually exists on Windfall Island, I don't know if you noticed it, I never pointed it out in this Let's Play, actually. Probably should have done that, but uh, there is actually a chest like that, and that's how you make them appear, you shine light on them. So yeah, that is the dungeon map. You don't need the dungeon map, but it's a good idea to have the dungeon map, I think, so I don't think... yeah. You should just pass up on that. So I'm going to blow this uh, return pot open. And yeah, that's all. And I'm not going to pick up that magic pot because I have full magic anyway, so there's no real reason for me to do that. Alright, so here's the main room of the dungeon. Or at least the uh, room where the next half of the dungeon is going to... Uh, I suppose start. So our ultimate goal is to get through this door. And that's going to enter, or give us entrance to another area of the dungeon where we will be doing the final tasks that we need to complete to finish the place. So, yeah. Our current, I guess, uh, task is to actually get through this room, but uh, we're not going to be able to do it immediately. But what we're going to do first and foremost, and I'm going to try to... Alright, so we're going to keep that there, so we're going to go... If we go back... She's going to remain in that position, so what we want to do is... I need to, uh... Okay. I need to go to items, and... Skull Hammer on R, because I, I don't know why I need to put it on R, I just do. It just seems like it belongs on R. Now, the reason why we need to actually blow this smoke away, and I'll tell you how this smoke works. When you enter this smoke, you're not able to use items, and, uh... On top of that, you like your movements become inverted. So it's not just the inversion of movements that is the issue, it's the fact that you can't use your items under those circumstances. So you can't actually hit down that switch unless you uh, have Medley, I guess, shine a light through there. So what we're going to do is drop her at the entrance again just to kind of keep her safe. And uh, you know what? I don't need the bait right now, so I will go and equip my bow to wipe. So I will, if I could possibly... Oh my god, this is not actually possible. Holding Y and doing this is not possible. So what I'm going to have to do is go back. Or at the very least do that, because Y doesn't work with that. I need to... Okay, good to know. Because of this controller, the bow always has to be at R. Otherwise, I cannot actually control my analog stick while using the bow. So that's good to know. If you are using the classic controller, not the classic controller, the uh, pro controller for the Wii, you'll probably work it out yourself if you are playing the game with this controller, but you always need to have the bow at R. Otherwise, your thumb will not be in a position to actually move the analog stick. So, yeah. Always needs to be at R. And as you did notice, the positions of the bow and the skull hammer just switched because I put the bow on R and yeah, you get the point. The positions have now switched. So the thing we need to do now, I will step on this. Okay, we don't want to open that just yet because as you can see, we need to leave someone on there. What we need to do first and foremost is climb this ladder and create some light. 
because as you can see there is a chest there that can have light shined on it or light shone on it I guess I guess shined well shined or shone in this case have light shined on it I think would be the way you'd say that now oh, what do you have to say now oh really well fuck that's important thanks for telling us now and not later or not before rather Ah, <sighs> it is better than sooner rather than later, but anyway, we're gonna make this chest appear. This might be the compass, it might be something else entirely. I'm not too sure. Is there anything else we can do with this light? Not at the moment. So we will go back and we'll open this chest. See what is in here. It is a small key, so this is very important. That's why Medley actually... Oh, okay. Right, so let's go and hit this damn thing. Don't you take her, you asshole. It's not entirely horrific if they do steal her. It's just really inconvenient, so... Make sure you hit this hand. It's a lot easier to actually hit the hand in this game because it seems that the arm itself does take damage, whereas before, only the hand itself, not the arm, took damage. So, yeah, what we need to do is drop her here. Now with those floor masters dead, she should be safe while we're in here. But, uh, oh. Huh. How does that work? Is there something that we can leave on top of here? Because I can't get through there. Oh, I get it. Okay, we've got the small key that we need. We won't be able to go through that previous room there. Just yet. But we can now go through this room here. See, it's funny, I went that way naturally without remembering why I needed to go in that direction first. It's because we needed the small key. Okay. So we will open this door now. And we will... Okay, well, you can do that, whatever you want to do. Uh, let's go and kill these choo-choos. Can do a spin attack. Come on, there we go. Beautiful, that's exactly what I wanted. Alrighty, let's go and get ready to collect some chew jelly. I do it because I'm a hoarder. I don't necessarily want the chew jelly for any particular reason. It's just I want to have lots of stuff. <laughs> That's how I am when I play games. I, I hoard the crap out of stuff. So anyway, what we're going to do here is switch arrows, do that, and then... Yeah, I'm just making sure that these guys don't end up hitting me. So now with that burned, this light will shine down. And we want these guys to come in here, obviously. And this time we don't actually want to throw them on the ground and break them. We actually need them for this purpose here. Check this out. So when we put them down on these switches here, this opens up to us. And just in case something goes wrong in the future, or rather, I suppose, in case we want to go up here again in the future, we are going to... I'm going to drop her down here first. But I'm going to grab this, push this down, and this will act as a shortcut up here. As well as an ability to open that door, I suppose. <laughs> anyway, the reason why that just came back up is because these guys came back alive. And you can see that one coming alive there as well. My throat is starting to need water soon. So, <laughs> Well, it needed water before, but now it really needs water. It really is uh, faster killing those guys. Before you needed to kind of wait until you jumped up to hit the hand, but this time around it's a little bit easier. No, no, no. So we're going to, we're going to push this uh, big block into this spot here. It's going to create some light. And I will mention here that you don't actually need to break, like, as you're about to see, there are two, and I'll, I might as well use the uh, command melody for this. No, damn it. Didn't hold it in this direction for long enough. <laughs> anyway, we're going to, well, I'm going to demonstrate something to you. We only need to break the bottom one of these, because these things inside well, maybe, I mean, at least with that one we don't, but perhaps with this one. Let me see. Come on. Alright, what's in there? It's, yeah, it's just a block. We don't need to actually break the top one, even though it says that we're able to. We don't need to, so I'm probably not going to do that. I will go back and play as Link again, and we will first and foremost... Okay, so that's not a return pot that we need to blow open, so I won't blow it open. <laughs> it would be kind of pointless. So, well, we're not actually able to blow it open because it's already open, but we could attempt to blow it in some way. And, uh, no, it doesn't work. Don't try to make that joke, you person who thinks that it's very funny that I said blow. But anyway, uh, let's go drop that in there. And I don't really know what happens when we move this rock. 
can't really remember. You know what? We're going to go and find out to see what it actually does. Because I am rather intrigued. It was my mistake for forgetting to actually do this, so I'm going to do it anyway. There we go. What's that going to do for us when we move the rock? Well, it's not really a rock. It's a, uh, a block. Block, rock, pretty much rhyming, so it's understandable that I said that. So there is indeed a chest there. I have a feeling that that's going to be a joy pendant. Usually when you get extra chests like that in dungeons, it will be a joy pendant. Not too useless. Sorry that I threw you up there. I kind of have to do it. I'm sorry. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to get up there. Alrighty, so let's open this. Medley will be in the cutscene, I think. Yeah, check that out. So what have we got? Oh, it's the compass. Okay, well there you go. It's pretty easy to forget the compass, I suppose. So, uh, yeah, it's basically saying that uh, we can leave Medley behind if we want to. I guess that means that this is the mini-boss. Or not. Okay, well, we'll bring her with me. <laughs> because I don't want that floor master to come back. Maybe they don't come back. Alright, well... He's basically implying that we don't need her in here, so I guess we'll uh, do whatever we need to do in here, and then we'll... Uh, I'll first and foremost kill you, because you're annoying. That, uh, that ghost, I'm trying to think. So with that ghost, what you can do with ghosts, and this is the first time we've actually come across a ghost in this game so far, you can actually get them to possess you to get rid of them. And they don't really do anything while they possess you, they just invert your movements, and that's kind of all that happens. So if you do that to me now. Kind of waiting. See, I do need Medley with me. I fucking knew it. See, check this out. It's because he said, don't worry about leaving Medley in the temple. I was thinking, well, maybe we don't need her in the next room. I first thought maybe it was the boss, or the mini-boss, I should say, but we'll be at the mini-boss soon. I think it's the next room that we're going in after this one, but, uh, fucking hell. I have to do this again. Alright, just stop being dizzy. I'm sorry for throwing you around, but you need to be thrown around. Because you... Uh, I was about to make a terribly sexist joke, and I decided not to do that, because I'm a nice guy. So, <laughs> Anyway, um, you... You know what you're going to do? You're going to follow me up here if you could possibly do such a thing. If you can't do such a thing, which you can't by the looks of it, please possess me. Because when they possess me, they will disappear forever. They'll be basically dead at that point. This kind of sucks. Alright, fine, I'll have to use Medley then, I suppose. Let's bring you up here. I don't know if I can throw you up there. Nope. Alrighty. This is a bit annoying, actually. So what I'll have to do then, I'm pretty sure, yeah, time stops when we play the song, which is rather convenient. And uh, we're going to bring Medley up here. We're going to make a fly. And uh, as you're about to see, it seems they're not really interested in in us. Us the Link guy. So, oh, that's interesting. I just managed to leave that... Uh, come on, we need to hit you before you become normal again. Or maybe they don't become normal, I don't know how it works, but anyway. Very interestingly enough, and I didn't intend to do this, Medley left her harp pointing in the direction of one of those, I guess, statues would be the best way to refer to them. And I definitely didn't intend to do that, so there you go. Anyway, uh, that's about it for this video, guys. I will see you guys in the next one. It is part 35 that you're watching right now for my Let's Play, and I will see you guys next time. Catch you later.